T Green Man Vlog. Check out my vlog. Check out my vlog. Please, check out my vlog. Check out my vlog. Check, 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 check out my vlog. Check out my vlog. Check, check, check out my vlog. Check out my vlog. Check, check, check out my vlog. Check out my vlog. Yo, check out my vlog. Check out my vlog. Check, check, check out my vlog. Check out my vlog. Check, check, check out my vlog. Check out my vlog. Check, check, check out my vlog. Welcome to the vlog. Hey, uh, so I wanted to kind of go over some subjects today, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, this is going to be a pretty interesting episode. So hopefully you'll still tune in for the whole little spiel I'm going to give here. First off, I'm going to start it off, you know, just so I get this out the way so everybody can get the message out. But, uh, I want to bring any, any rapper in Arizona right now, obviously, if you're feeling healthy, um, before we get lockdowns here, I want to have a cipher, you know, possibly freestyle battle, whatever. So, uh, first off is uh, the challenge to any of you Arizona rappers out here who want to get down on the mic anytime, any day. I mean, I would love to, whether it's cipher, battle, whatever you want to do, I'm, I'm, I'm up for it. You know, uh, bring it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, onto the more serious subject. So, uh, you know... I get a lot of things from people around this time, you know. I mean, I don't know if a lot of people really, uh, uh, not, not a lot of people know me personally on here. Obviously, some of you do, but uh, some of you really understand where I've been, you know, dealing with the last uh, couple, you know, months. But uh, for some of you that don't, I mean, I could kind of get somewhat specific, but you know, there's a lot. You know, it's, I mean. Really, I would say what started it probably hit, you know, over a year and a half ago, um, you know, right before my brother died. Literally, the the day I went to go visit my brother, uh, I had been staying at a place at a time when I was paying a week and everything was going pretty well there. And I actually had everything set and everything was going great. And right before I left, I you know, they kind of talked to me, telling me that, uh, you know, you know, am I taking my, my beer to Dragon Jack? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyways, you know, I take Jack. And, you know, she texts me and I tell her, you know, we need to talk about the air conditioning. That's probably why, because, you know, there's issues. So basically, I got evicted over an air conditioning issue because they didn't want to fix it over that because she was t just didn't want to deal with me. So dealing with going to see my brother at the same day basically was homeless the same time I had to go do that and come back and find a place. Then after I come back and find a place, I was with a friend. My brother died. Uh, I was dealing with my business. And, uh, you know, I had a friend who, who relapsed on heroin. And, you know, basically, you know, I had to move out of there and go into a hotel where I had to live for over a year and a half, you know, behind already from trying to catch up on these two little huge things that hit me, speed bumps, and still run a business completely on my own. Business was running fine, so people don't understand. Everybody's like, you need to get a new job. But my, I make over $1,000 a week, you know, or more in my business. The problem is I'm constantly forking out stuff towards other things that come up, like, that moving to different places uh, i've gone through three vehicles where my vehicles have you know basically broken and blown up i had a vehicle blow up on the side of the road and it's crazy as a friend who actually helped me get it towed and everything died two weeks later uh you know i've had so many different crazy things happen to me in the last year that i don't really think people understand what i've been through and what i'm going through all they see is oh well because everybody only sees like I, there's a that quoted on my thing i talked about you know everybody in my life seems to just see one boulder on me they see one boulder, and it's just income. But they don't look at all these other boulders. There's like five or six boulders. And if I were just to push this one boulder one way and think that I'm just going to do out of it, all these other boulders would come in. Like, for instance, just if I were to go get another job, for instance, um, I would have to pay back all my memberships of people who have prepaid me lots of money. So that would never do that because that's would put me in worse debt than I'm already in. I'd rather dig myself out through services and my own blood, sweat, and tears and then re-establish my business fully than go into, go into the ground and, and going further into debt. So, I mean, that's the idiocracy of people's opinions that they don't understand. That's the stupidest opinion I hear from people is when they tell me I should look at other work. 
yeah, I get in further debt. That's that's smart. Put myself in ten to fifteen thousand dollars worth of debt off of just one decision. That's one thing people don't realize when they tell me that, and it's really irritating because the ones I love are always the ones who seem to say it, and it, it, it it's because I can't go through all of this and explain them all the numbers. There's even more stuff than that. You know, like, and not to mention, I dedicate my life a lot of time. I do a lot of things for other people. Um, you just, just, just people don't really don't really see all the all the light. They only see the dark. Everyone wants to think they know how to do everything. Everyone thinks they're right. That's what I realized. Humans think they're right. Until you realize you're wrong and you don't know anything, you're never gonna be right in life. And that's just it. Because you're always gonna try to solve it the way you want to solve it, rather than the way that could be solved another way. So. You know, these are these are the things that I want to bring up on my vlog today, you know, and really kind of give you guys an understanding of me because right now I'm really fighting this this uh, coronavirus thing, you know, COVID-19 thing has really hit me hard. So, you know, I have a business where I go around mobile auto detailing stuff, you know, if I were to even stay in business right now, I've, I've, I've suspended business and I'm going to, ex you know, extend it back once this scare goes down because even just going around and doing mobile auto detailing on people's vehicles right now it's not sanitary you know because i'd have to disinfect every single time i get out of someone's vehicle and go to another one because you don't know if you're transferring a virus so you know it's not very safe to be perfectly honest it's actually the most unsafe time because it's a virus we don't have an understanding of if it was a little bit more like the flu and stuff it'd be different but it's it's an ununderstood virus and you know, for instance, if you were to clean something with an, you know, an antibacterial or whatever, and it didn't fully kill it, you might mutate the virus in someone's vehicle and get them really sick. So those are some of the things that, you know, have really held my business down, not to mention people don't really care about detailing their car when they want to buy toilet paper. So I've been hurting so hard. And then, you know, we had weather and another vehicle issue and just, you know, and I just moved out of a place. So all these things are erupted on me, so I'm just basically trying to survive every single day. You know, that's why I've been dropping these videos. I'm not making money on these videos, but at least I'm, you know, giving my mind and it's therapy. At least, you know, hopefully somebody who watches this is going through it too and realizes that other people are hurting too. So, you know, really, we just got to stick together. Don't look at people's situations right now and just help them because you're going to get help back. We got help coming. You know, at least our country here in the United States, they got a stimulus package. For all of us hardworking people, you know, we're going to get taken care of in a few weeks. But in the meantime, we all got to suffer, some of us. You know, I'm one of those. Waiting on an ID right now for a new thing because I had to deal with a situation. And so I have my ID coming in the mail, so I can't even get other work right now, or else I'd be temporarily working at a Costco or something, you know, just to get extra cash. So this is literally what I'm doing right now. To keep myself moving so i'm glad some of you have really enjoyed the content and i hope i can continue to keep giving you guys the good content i'm giving you so i just want you to know this is coming from my heart so please uh please keep tuning in and you know i'm gonna keep fighting because i'm not a loser i've won a lot i've been through so much in my life i fought off five years of alcoholism almost six something that killed my brother so to me if I could do that, there's a lot of things I can do, and I could do anything, and that's what I believe. So I understand people who have doubts and faith and fear right now, but I have none, and I will continue to fight, and hopefully, you know, people will continue to fight with me, and I've had a lot of support throughout my years, and I'm very thankful for that, and, you know, always love the continuing support of those who are have been there through this with me, so uh, keep tuning in. I'm going to keep giving you great content. Please subscribe. I got a great freestyle at the end of this video for y'all. I worked hard on it. I, I probably we went over the beat like so many times because I didn't like the way I freestyled. I wanted it to sound just perfect. So, you know, I really, I'm really glad you guys enjoy the ones of you who do and that the subscriptions have gone up. So, with that, thank you so much. And uh, have a great day. T. Green Man, freestyle. Thanks for tuning into the vlog.
little more TV, a little more fear, a little more food, a little more beer, a little more toilet paper, we gon' fill it up. We all scared in our minds like we giving up, like a volcano erupt. We ain't even felt it just like a bluff. All we think about is hoarding this stuff and getting inside like our life was so rough. We got a reason to live instead of not a reason living to die. We take away the pride, but we don't look deep inside and find the reason that we all clean like tide. We like a pie getting cut and put inside a hut. Some of us take it in the future, some of us take it in the butt. This is just a game, it's just a flame. You can feel it, feel the glory, or you feel the pain. It's insane, hit your mind like a migraine. You can lift it out the ground like a deep stain. You can see it in me, because I ordain. Been through the mission, sitting back with my ambition. I'm straight the tradition to write these lyrics down like John Grisham, been author of this hip hop. I go hard, clean it up like a mop. I go in hard, never flop. You can see with the game as I cop I'm going hard till I'm up on the top To give the mission with these lyrics I rock You ain't hitting, I'm moving hard Like the hands on the clock A captain on the dock Or Star Trek just like Spock A Vulcan touch, hold the game like a crutch You can see as I stretch I'm out the game like etch and sketch